like watching Michael Hyde, I like watching Jordan Poyer, I like watching Minka, Minka Fitzpatrick, really Steelers defense as a total, I just like watching those guys. So, yeah, I watched the game for sure. You said you weren't for any playoff implications. I mean, were you cheering for the Bills there at the end to hang on, though? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I was just watching to watch a good game. Uh, I think it was really a good defensive battle the entire game. The Bills did end up winning, but like I said, it, it didn't get me excited. Like, oh, the Bills won. Hey, like, you know, I was just watching a good game, honestly. The outcome was in your favor, though, and kind of helps keep you alive in a more realistic shot for the playoffs. And that's got to be, you know, encouraging, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, honestly. And I hope that the entire mood of this team is like, it doesn't really matter. You know, if we don't win you know, our next two games, it really doesn't matter if the Steelers lost or not, honestly. So we need to handle our business on our end. And that's by preparing as much as we can this week to beat the Saints. And that's all we can focus on right now. Is there a sentiment that, like, after yesterday, we get those guys again and we know what we got to shore up? Yeah, I mean, the sentiment was not even thinking about the next game, actually, in my opinion. It's thinking about the Saints. Because, like I said, if we don't handle our business with the Saints, what does the game next week matter? Or two weeks matter? So it's all about trying to watch this film, about to have meetings and stuff like that, really be critical with ourselves and try to do what we can to fix those things that we didn't uh, do well on yesterday and uh, move on and, and try to go beat, the, beat a really good team at home, you know, with the Saints. How important is it, I mean, to kind of leave yesterday behind? I know, I know a lot of guys disappointed in the locker room yesterday to, to kind of come in here, start a new week, and make sure that doesn't linger. I mean, I, honestly, I feel like as NFL athletes, we get paid to play well, and when we win, you celebrate for a little minute, then you forget about it, and then you're on to the next week. So when you lose, you know, you're always disappointed. You're going to be disappointed, but you got to move on to the next week. And at the end of the day, it's kind of encouraging that we are still alive in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, it won't be encouraging if we don't handle our business this week. So I think that the, has to be the, the, the singular focus of this week for the entire team is focusing on what we can improve and try to go beat the Saints. And you got to watch the Saints this week. But obviously the secondary is going to face a big challenge uh, in, in what they bring to the table. Most definitely. It's kind of like that every week, man. I feel like the second day we're going to face a really good challenge. Michael Thomas is having a, a phenomenal, legendary year. We're definitely going to have to contain him. Uh, Drew Brees, one of the best quarterbacks, Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, I mean, Alva Kamara, I mean, they have a ton of guys out there. But uh, I think if right now, at least focusing on today, is going to be able to watch in the film, being critical, and uh, really having uh, real discussions on how we can improve as a defense so we can play really good down the stretch. Kevin, you guys have won a lot of games lately both sides of the ball. Yesterday, the Texans seemed to have the answer for that. Right. What, what was the difference? Uh, I, th I think the difference is, I mean, they just played better. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins started to make plays in the fourth quarter. Deshaun Watson did a lot of great things as far as extending plays and uh, finding his guys and, and getting open. Uh, their running game was working pretty good. I mean, I think our offense played pretty well. I think our offense was able to drive down and get a score. But, you know, me as being a defensive player, I feel like we didn't do enough on the defensive side of the ball to contain those guys and give our offense a, a better chance towards the end of the game.